Declan who? Declan who? Declan maize? Declan millet? Or Declan rice? Kobe Mainu is the name, man. Kobe Mainu is the name. Declan who? Those are joining. Let me invite you. Hello. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yes, yeah, sir. I can hear you clearly. Good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Declan, who? Uh, I'm just. I'm, just <laughs> I'm here in the broad <laughs> rice and timber. My United are doing the cooking. As now, uh, we are doing the cooking, and... my brother. Yes, they brought the ingredients, and we are doing the cooking. Yeah, Declan, who? Declan Millet, Declan Mills, Declan Rice. Uh, yes, we I are think doing the is, cooking, man. De Declan wheat, I'm sure. <laughs> now, <laughs> let me ask you, what is your general overview about the whole game? Who was your man All of right. the match? Um, Boku, uh, before I, I begin with your question, I think I need to uh, commend you on the good job you're doing. I think I've not really okay. had the time to actually join you, but I've been thinking. Even this evening, uh, I think you, you, you came. You've been missing. Uh, I'm telling you, and uh, I think I was having some thoughts and you popped up. I think you popped okay. up and I was like, no, I need to call you. So we need to try and put things together because I have a lot of United fans who are actually willing, you know, to get okay. involved in what we started. So I think uh, we'll be talking about that maybe behind the scenes. But then I think it's a good of win. Uh, it's good for our confidence. Um, you know, as you can see, I'm not sleeping. I've been home all day and I decided to step out. <laughs> so it's a bit noisy over here. But... You know, I was clearly following the game, and trust me, it's a good game. You know, at some point in time, I started it's asking a myself, a um, what was the system that Eric Ten Hag is trying to deploy? Because it looked as if Arsenal were in total control. Yeah. You look at their pressing game and how good they are, the way they play as a unit, the yeah. way they build up and all that. But I think um, one thing I can take away from this game is the killer instinct we are beginning to develop. That we don't mind the kind of system of we, we set up in the game. But then the most important thing is that, you know, we are ruthless yeah. in the game. We bury our chances and we are able to take them. So of I think course. that's the, the first takeaway. And the second thing also has to be with that. Bruno Fernandes, you know, ending the captain's armband officially, you know, started on a good note without, you know, left-footed drive. Bruno, that, Bruno, that hey, wait, 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 Josa. <laughs> Think Bruno, Bruno, Bruno before we continue. Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. Bruno, 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 Bruno. <laughs> You know, El Magnifico, yeah. and you could see, you know, it, it's just yeah. a step in the right direction. You get it. I, I think, okay. I think we've we've had that dominance psychologically over us now for some time now. Buying last season where yeah. we split, you know, the six points, we won at home and they won away. But even on aggregate, we won. So it looks like uh, United fans will be quite be happy. Yes, it's a test game. It's just a friendly. As we prepare for the main we don't, season, we don't play friendlies, man. We don't, no, we don't play, play friendlies. Friendly. Every game, every now, game. If you're on the live, please stop the likes and let us get more likes. Exactly, guys. exactly. Let every us... game is competitive. Yes. Exactly, exactly. And I'm sure United okay. fans would have been Josiah. and disappointed if they had lost this one. Yeah, Josiah. Yes, Nana Pogo, I'm here. Okay, let me ask you this question now. Ahmad Diallo Traore, you know, he came back from Sunderland with yeah. fire. Unfortunately, today. He came on in the second half and picked up an injury. What do you think? This is, do, what are you? What are your expectations for Ahmad Diallo Traore this season? You see, uh, I, I think um, Eric Ten Hag has been firm uh, with his decision to keep the guy. I don't know if he's later going yeah. to change it. But then Sunderland came back pleading to take the guy again. Other teams, even in the championship, are still you know keeping tabs on him because he's a good player. We saw how Tap on impactful. Their lives. Exactly. We saw how impactful he was when he, he went okay. to Sunderland last season. He's a good player. He's unfortunate. I was just defending him in one group. I find myself where I had uh, you know a couple of friends saying he should be low now. I'm like, no, come on. You need role players in your team. Ahmad Diallo yeah. could be your sucker. But then unfortunately, yeah. he's not had the time or he's not been uh, given that you know, ample Give time. Giving the chances. For Exactly, yeah. but he's a good yeah. player, you know, a left-footed player yeah. who can just dribble, do everything. You know, he was just magnificent. He had a remarkable season with Sunderland, and they fell in love with him. Okay, you know, he was a court right. over there, and they loved him over there. So I think um, it's unfortunate he's he's been injured, but then I think we need to give him some time. He could be a good role player okay. this season. All right, now Dosa, let me ask you about. Oh, Nana, what's my name? Oh, Nana. Yeah, you know we have the Cameroonian 
international Onana. Yes, what is yes. your general thing on the signing of Onana? Because personally, yeah. I feel he is going to change our play so much. He is going um, to be the, the goalkeeper Eric Ten Hag has always wanted. What is your thing on the Onana signing? Yeah, if if I'm um, to use numbers, I'm a bit I'm a Digia fan. I love yeah. David here. Trust me. Okay. Um, Steve, he's arguably the best goalkeeper the Premier League has ever seen. From my view, there's no other goalkeeper who can Whoa. make the headlines. Whoa, wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 <laughs> What did you say again? Repeat that I statement. Said, David De Gea is the greatest goalkeeper the Premier League has seen to me personally. Whoa. He's been voted, he's, see, in his 12 years at Manchester United, he's been voted the best goalkeeper okay. five times. In his first five years, okay. he was voted the best goalkeeper four times. So, see, you can't take anything away from him. We have a lead goalkeeper that in the league. That is for Manchester United. Or you are no, talking about the Premier the league, league. The league. The Premier League. He's, he's been voted in the best 11 five times in the, in the last 12 years. He's won the no. voting vote twice. No other goalkeeper no. has been able to achieve that. Now, I'll make a case for Peter Check right here. Because, guy, my guy. This, he's not... This no, is, he's not he, He's not had, no, he's not enjoyed the achievements David Yeah has enjoyed. See, forget about winning the Premier League. They will be saying Edison is okay. the greatest uh, um, Premier League goalkeeper of all time because he's won the Premier League, I think, okay. five times or so. But it's okay. not about the number of times he won, it's about the individual, you know, uh, achievement and how or where you rank in the best goalkeepers in the history of the Premier League. David Yeah has appeared in the first 11 of the. Okay. Uh, you can, okay. uh, so uh, the PFA players, uh, team of the year, PFA team of the year, more times than any other goalkeeper in the history of the Premier League since 1992. Okay. So he's arguably... Okay, so Josiah, uh, I know you had the hair yeah. for this, okay. Okay, yeah. let's continue. Yeah. Let me so, ask so you about, about Marcos Rashford's... Marcos Rashford's five-year contract. New Is five-year he... contract. Now, you know, last season... He did a 30-goal season. Of course, this season, he will be looking to build upon that achievement. Now, when you look at this call Manchester United right now, with Bruno Fernandes as captain, with Varane and uh, Lissandro Martinez as centre-back, Onana at the back, then we have um, Bruno and um, um, Macy Mount at Mount, number 8, with probably Casemiro. Highland up front. What do you think will will be the perfect season for Manchester for Marcos Rashford? Um, uh, no, I think he's one of yeah. the biggest enemies. I am enjoying to your music actually. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm outside a bit, uh, kind of bored, so I decided to step out. You know, take some fresh air. Oh, you know. <laughs> All right, Nalapogu, So talking about Marcos Rashford, um, he had a great yeah. season last season. Uh, he set the bar oh. a bit higher than he used to. 30 goals in all competitions in one season, 54 yeah. games played. That's quite huge for him. And he knows the yeah. pressure this can be. Because once he's been given an improved contract, uh, he's one of the highest NS at Manchester United. Mm. So it means that yes, the yeah. responsibilities are going to, you know, uh, move to the next level. He needs to work harder. You get that? So I'm still watching the penalties. Yeah, he could, he could be a signing of the season. He could, you know, be... Manchester United signing of the season. It's good, a five-year deal. Oh. We've seen teams struggling to keep or tie their players down to new contracts. PSG are struggling yeah. with Mbappe. We've seen it. Mason Mount told Chelsea he's not going to play anymore. We've seen it with other, yeah. other teams. Harry Kane is telling Tottenham, see, I'm not going to stay, I'm moving. So for Manchester yeah. United to tie, her, uh, sorry, Marcus Rashford down Marcus again. Marcus Rashford. Exactly, to an, an improved contract, a long-term contract, I think it's a win-win situation for both parties. But then it's about what United expect from the player. He's a good player, he's a world-class okay. player now. You can't take anything away from him. But then 30 goals, United will be looking at, listen, you scored 30 last season. You need to improve on that. We are looking at 35 to 40. Especially if we should go the season or this off-season without signing a striker. The owners will lie on him again. Last season, he missed lots and lots of big chances. Last season, he missed 22 big chances in the Premier League. That was, you know, up there with the likes of uh, Darwin Nunes and all that. But then we are hoping that he can improve, you know, on his finishing. You know, because if he's a clinical finisher, yeah, he's a good finisher. Okay. So if he's able to improve on that, you know, trust me, he will get 40 or 40 plus in the season. Okay. So, Josa, um, I think Manchester United were playing penalties and um, we won 5-3 on penalties because um, uh, 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 that's a, that's um, Casemiro a scored. Win. That's a 
Yes, that's a double Jimbo win. Jimbo Dallow scored, <laughs> Victor Lindelof scored, Marcos Rashford scored, and Eric Eriksen scored. But then Fabio Vieira of Arsenal missed his after Odegaard and Trossard had scored their own. Jorginho, of course, will score his penalty. Now, you know, I am over the moon and, and I'm happy that today you've joined the show. We will be doing this often. Maybe we will do it two live videos um, throughout these preseason games and hopefully that will continue for a very long time. <laughs> Okay. No, no, I'm listening. Hello? Yeah. okay, so I was saying, I hope you can join the live more often for us to talk about Manchester United and so many other things, okay? Okay, okay, so guys, that is that, that is that we are wrapping up the show. Fortunately for me, my brother came through and um, ah, we are over the moon, 2-0 against. Now, come on, let us talk about J.D. Sancho's pace to score his goal. What has Everton had been feeding him? Because if Sancho is playing like this as a number nine, come on. The pace and the composure to finish that goal, I was like, this is a different Jaden Sancho. Right? I'm happy, man. I'm happy, man. It's been a pleasure having you for, I think, 14 minutes or so. Manchester United 2, Arsenal 0. Declan what? Declan May, Declan Wheat, or Declan Rice. We've got Kobe Mainu. Kobe Mainu. Kobe Mainu costs United nothing, but it's marshalling. <laughs> it's been a pleasure having you. This is the post-match reaction to the, to the game at the Mets Life Stadium in New York. Now, of course, 82,000 capacity filled to the brim. This is what Manchester United can do. Uh, this is Manchester United. Filled the stadium, a record attendance again. We've done it yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Okay, yeah. so Josa. Yeah, see you will... Monday. Monday on transfer business, hopefully, and you join me hopefully, and let us talk about Manchester hopefully, 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 I'll be around for you. Okay, and then we can talk some okay. business too, aside the football business. All right. What's your? All the best. What's your? All the best. All right. All the best. I'm leaving you with great.